Hello, everybody. Glad to see you. Today, we're going to talk about perpendicularity. Perpendicularity is a special case of angularity. Here, the angle between two features should be 90 degrees. As we can see here, on left hand side, we are going to have this perpendicularity symbol. We have the value of Tz, and this surface should be perpendicular to datum A. We are going to have two boundaries perpendicular to datum A, and distance between these two boundaries should be 0 0.03, and this wavy surface should be in that tolerance zone. As we can see in 3D, this red plane should be between the boundaries. At top right, we have another example. We implement perpendicularity symbol. We have diameter symbol, the value of Tz, we have modifier, and axis of this hole should be perpendicular to datum A. It means we are going to have a cylinder with a diameter of 0 0.03 and axis of this hole should be in that volume. At the right bottom, we have another example. We have this perpendicularity symbol, this is 0 0.1. The axis of this feature should be perpendicular to A. We are going to have two boundaries perpendicular to A with the distance of 0 0.1 x of this feature should be in that interval. Here, we have another example. We would like to highlight why we are going to use this perpendicularity symbol feature control frame. At top, we can see the length of this side, this surface is 50 plus minus 0 0.1. It means we are going to control this plane on left hand side while the total Tz is 0 0.2. And instead of having this tight sized tolerance zone, we can have greater value for this tolerance plus minus 0 0.5 and implement this perpendicularity with Tz 0 0.2 perpendicular to A. To control this surface, on left hand side, we are going to have the same condition. But at the bottom, we can see we are going to have greater value of tolerance zone for this size. Here in this example, we implement this perpendicularity symbol. We have the diameter symbol, we have the value of Tz, we have MMC condition. The axis of this hole should be perpendicular to A. In this manner, when we are going to have a cylinder with a diameter of 0 0.03, the axis of this hole should be in that value. In this manner, we are going to control the orientation of this hole. In this table, as we can see in first column, we have different value of hole diameter. If we don't have any modifier, here it is MMC, the TZ is constant for different values of hole diameter. But when we have MMC, it means for a smallest hole diameter, as it is listed in third column, first line, we can see for a smallest hole diameter, we should have this value for Tz 0.03. But for other values of hole diameter, we are going to calculate what should be the Tz. They are listed in last column here. We are going to have dynamic tolerance zone. Here is the last example for today. The pin diameter is between 9.4 and 9.5 and we have and we have this perpendicularity symbol. We have diameter symbol Tz is 0 0.3 we have modifier and x of this pin should be perpendicular to reference plane A. In this figure at top middle we can see the axis of this pin is not in that tolerance zone. We are going to control the orientation of this pin as we can see at top right. For MMC, when we have a biggest value of 
pin diameter, we are going to have this T is 0 0.3, but other values of pin diameter we can calculate what should be the value of Tz. They are listed in last column. For now, I would like to close this session. In coming session, I'm going to talk about perpendicularity. We are going to have more examples. Thank you for today. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.